Good morning, everybody. Okay, so have you figured out what you're making for the Super Bowl? It's time's running out, man. You got to get a game plan together, and my mission is to help you make the most be- the best Super Bowl spread ever. But keep it easy. Keep yourself out of the kitchen and in front of the game. So I put together a bunch of great make-ahead game day recipes, and you can't go wrong with a big batch of sloppy joes. This is a classic recipe, and it's one of my favorites. You can get it ahead, have it in your slow cooker, and um, you know. It's just real simple, and it serves a crowd. So you can even double, triple this recipe. This one's going to make about two dozen sandwiches. So I'm starting out with four pounds of ground beef that I'm just browning up, and I want to season that with some salt and pepper. Now I'm adding two cups of diced onion. I love this recipe because most of the ingredients you already have right on hand. You don't have to get a, a bunch of fancy stuff. Now I've got a cup and a half of diced celery. And a half cup of finely diced bell pepper. And if you don't like green pepper, just leave it out. Not a big deal. All right, so I'm just going to get that going with the beef. And now we're just going to start dumping in the rest of the ingredients. I've got a half cup of water, four cups of ketchup. couple tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So we kind of have, you know, the sweet with the sugar and a little bit of the sour with the apple cider vinegar. And the last ingredient is just one of the small cans of tomato paste. So you get this all going. And basically what you can do is you transfer this whole thing or brown up the beef and then dump everything else into your slow cooker. And then you just want to get this in there in the morning, cover it, and cook it on low for a few hours until that beef really breaks down and by game time it is ready. And then go pick up You know, I always say, make one or two things and then pick up the rest of the stuff. You can't do it all. Uh, It'll catch up with you if you try. So, you know, and assign different people that are coming to your party to bring different things. You got to love the green and gold buns that they're doing at festival. The, The bakery department there has gone a little bit crazy. They've got Packer fever in a good way. So from um, giant chocolate chip cookie um, in the shape of a Packer's helmet to bad boy brownies, which are amazing to Packer cakes and cupcakes, they've got it all. And then, you know, hit the deli and pick up a veggie and dip tray and some potato salad and and all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, make it easy on yourself. Make a big batch of sloppy joes and then pick up the rest of this stuff. And by the way, the recipe is on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival food. So this has been cooking for a while and that beef has just gotten tender and wonderful. And I just got to serve it on a bun. And like I say, this recipe makes a dozen or so sandwiches, but um, if you're having more people over, you don't want people to be hungry, so feel free to make some more. I'm always cooking, you guys, even on the weekend. Got to watch on Super Bowl Sunday. I will be here, and I've got a great last-minute game day dip recipe, and it's green and gold. Got to love that. I'm doing a cheesy broccoli dip that is going to be out of this world. And then on Living with Amy on Friday, we're having a huge Packers party and all sorts of great game day recipes, including a new brat that they do at festival. It's a mushroom and wild rice brat, and I'm doing it with a Swiss cheese sauce. So just all sorts of great game day recipes uh, on our website. And don't go anywhere because Pete and Angela will be right back. Yeah, this is a definite, you need napkins to eat this one.